hope you're having a wonderful day today. You guys enjoying all the rain? We've certainly gotten a lot recently. So I have a book today and guess what it's about? Mustaches! So this book is called Mustache Baby. Do babies normally have mustaches? But this one does. When baby Billy was born, his family noticed something odd. He had a mustache. What does this mean? His mother asked. Well, it depends, the nurse said. You'll have to wait and see whether it is a good guy mustache or a bad guy mustache. At first, it was plain to see that Billy's mustache was noble and just. He tamed a bunking bronco and became a cowboy. He always protected his cattle, cared for injured animals, and mended broken fences. After setting things right on the range, Billy rode off to become a ringleader, a Spanish painter, a sword fighter, and finally, a man of the law, for his neighborhood desperately needed him. With his cop badge, Billy was one tough hombre. He stopped speedsters, outlawed poker, and caught thieves red-handed. Everyone loved having Officer Billy around. But a funny thing happened. As Billy got bigger, his mustache grew and curled up at the ends. What's it gonna be? His parents' worst fears were realized. Billy had a bad guy mustache. Billy's disreputable mustache led him into a life of dreadful crime. He became a cat burglar, a serial criminal, and a train robber so heartless that he even stole the tracks. But when he planned the biggest heist of all, a bank robbery, his getaway car wasn't fast enough. He got caught and thrown in jail. Jail is no place for a baby, even a baby with a mustache. Billy tried to be strong, but he did shed a few tears. After ages and ages, Billy regretted his treacherous thievery. He wished that his evil mustache would go away. At last, his mother busted him out of jail. There, there, she said. Everybody has a bad mustache day now and then. Let's dry your tears, his father said. The new neighbors have a baby your age. He's coming over to play. Ding dong! Does the baby have a mustache? He has a full beard. What did you think of that book? It was pretty funny, wasn't it? How do you guys like my mustache? It's actually been trying to fall off. I keep having to stick it back on. So, I actually have a cool activity today. These are called, um calm down bottles. And so I'm going to come up closer to the camera and I'll show you how to make these. You guys can make these with things that you have at home. And I may take off my mustache because it's really weird to talk around. So, ow. All right, I'm coming up closer. So, let me just scoop my chair. <laughs> All right, so, 
I have a bottle that has water in it and then I have an empty bottle and we're going to put some baby oil in it. So this is baby oil and the reason baby oil works best is because it's clear. Some other oils have like a color um, and you really don't want a color on this. And let's see if I can get this bottle open. I always struggle. There we go. Okay, so I want about the same amount of baby oil as I have water. Um, Pour it out. This will take a little bit of time, but we'll get there. And in the meantime, I have food coloring, and this is the important part. I need water-based food coloring, and then I need oil-based food coloring, because I need the oil-based food coloring to mix with the, uh, the oil, this baby oil that we're going to use, but not mix with the water and the water food coloring that we're going to use. So, um, I need some things to mix it with, so we're going to take the lid off of this one, and I decided to turn my water blue, so I'm going to put in a few drops, you can turn it whatever color you want, just make sure you turn them different colors, and I will use this to stir it up a little bit. A nice pretty blue color. Blue is one of my favorite colors. Put that over there. And then this is yellow. It looks orange in this bottle, but I promise when we mix it in with the oil, it will be yellow. I hadn't opened it yet, so. Alright, I'm just gonna get a little bit here on my popsicle stick. We are going to mix it in with this oil it makes a nice happy yellow color let's get this nicely mixed in Keep mixing so if you guys have been at any of my story times where I did the magic potions um, we did one where I mixed um, vinegar and baking soda and I told you guys that vinegar and baking soda don't like each other, so they fight. And that's what creates that explosion that we call the magic potion. Now, oil and water also don't like each other, but they don't fight. Instead of fighting, they're more like girls. They just don't talk to each other. So, what do you think happens if we dump the oil in the water and they don't talk to each other? Let's see. So I've got these all mixed in now. I'm just going to dump this oil in here. And I actually got this bottle a bit too full. I should have put in less than that. So look at that. It's separated out into the colors. Isn't that interesting? And now we can do something really cool. We can mix this up. And watch it settle out. I have a feeling it's going to leak since I got it too full. Don't get yours this full. Okay, so look at that. That looks pretty well mixed. Now let's watch it. It looks kind of greenish right now, but give it a little bit of time. You can see it's getting blue there at the bottom. Yellow here at the top. Like I said, we're just going to give it a little bit of time and watch it settle out. I've had one of these sitting on my desk for probably a week since I tried it last week to make sure that it worked and it's been fun. I just like to randomly reach over and shake it up and watch it settle back out. Yeah, look at that. It's settling back out. So like I said, you guys can do this at home with your own supplies. You just need a jar, any type of jar, bottle, whatever, as long as it's clear. And the water and the water-based food coloring. And then, like I said, it's really important that you get some oil-based food coloring. Uh, my boss had a really hard time finding this. She bought candy colors. That's what came out as oil-based and what worked. So you can keep that in mind, candy colors. Um, so look at that. It's separating out. I just think that's really cool. I really love science, so I hope you guys enjoy these activities that I'm doing. Um, I am doing another virtual story time, let's see, it looks like September the 8th at 10 a.m. 
And so we'll do another thing. We'll read some books and hopefully that time I will remember my ukulele because I forgot it this morning. Um, so yeah, we'll do another virtual story time. If I remember correctly, that one is about balloons. So we'll read about balloons and then I have an activity that will make balloons float. Uh, so we'll do that and I will try to remember my ukulele and we'll see. We'll have a good time. You guys should tune in and watch us. Look at that. It's almost all the way settled out. I think that's pretty cool. All right. I will see you guys next Tuesday at 10 a.m. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.